Yo, what's good, YouTube? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It's me, Mango Llamas. Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. I haven't made a Pokemon Go video in a hot minute. Um, I'm going to be making more in the future, but let's just get right into this damn video. So, we go over a lot of lineups in this channel, and you we go over basically the same Pokemon on this damn channel. But today's lineup is pretty good. You know, I haven't played the Battle League in a minute. You know, I'm on that phase again where I don't play it at all. And then I just come back so I can make videos. And I'm back at it again making videos. So first Pokemon on this lineup. First of all, this is a great league team lineup. And the first Pokemon we got here is Ampharos. Now, before we go over the Ampharos in this video... Okay, I say this in every single Pokemon Go video I make about the Battle League, and that is make sure your Pokemon are shiny. Okay, if you're doing any league in the Battle League, doesn't matter what league it is, today we're talking about the Great League, make sure your Pokemon are shiny, you will win games, okay? Doesn't matter about the stats, their moveset, you know, their CP, as long as they're shiny so you know i'm kind of lacking today or in this lineup i don't have all three of my pokemon shiny but i do have one pokemon shiny and that's the first pokemon we're going to be going over today and that first pokemon is ampharos now ampharos i've gone a lot on this channel i'm pretty sure he's meta i'm not i don't i have no fucking idea he's pretty good and i heard he was meta as fuck a long time ago so I already know I'm putting him in the lineup and he's shiny. So he like becomes like a purple electric dinosaur. I don't know, something like that. So his move set's pretty basic. We got Volt Switch and I think the charge move is called Trail Blaze. Okay, Ampharos is mainly just an electric type. Um, Volt Switch is an electric type move. It's not a fast attacking tap move. It's more like a methodical tap move where you just tap it. You know, just it's like tap tap it's not like tap 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 so it builds up your charge move a lot with one tap of the move now the only thing bad about this is that it sucks because the volt switch barely fills up the trailblaze within like three charges okay what that basically means is the Volt Switch actually fills up your charge move in four char in four tap moves, not three. It's like barely close enough for four. And I literally say that every time I have the Ampharos, but it's true. It's true. It should be three taps with the Volt Switch, but it's actually not. It's actually four taps because you're missing a little bit on the charge meter with the Trailblaze, if that makes any sense. So with the Trailblaze, this one's really cool. I really like this charge move. You know, your boy's broke on the Pokemon Go, so I barely got any candies for the really rare Pokemon to get two charge moves. So, you know, Ampharos and I guess Mareep is kind of not really common to come by. Depends how much you play Pokemon Go, but, you know, it's kind of hard to come by, so I don't have a lot of candies to get two charge moves on my Ampharos, but it is what it is. So... I only have one charge move and it's Trailblaze and Trailblaze, man, this, um, this specific move is so weird because this charge move is a grass type and Ampharos is an electric type. But every time I see Trailblaze, like I swear it's on like a goddamn Pokemon that's not even grass type. Like it doesn't even make any sense. Like for example, you can get this on Lant, not Lantern. What's, uh, I don't even, Chandelure, Chandelure, or something like that. It's like a chandelier, it's like fire and ghost type, and he can apparently get trailblaze, which doesn't make any sense because he's a ghost and fire type, but we're not talking about him, we're talking about Ampharos. So Ampharos, yeah, you can get the trailblaze. Cool thing about trailblaze is, um, like I said, fills up pretty fast with the volt switch, and when you use it, it actually buffs up your attack. The only thing kind of bad about this is that most of the time when I'm using the Ampharos, I won't really get to use the buff. 
on my tap moves or just on my charge moves because Ampharos is just such a squishy Pokemon, you know, he's, he's pretty squishy, so he kind of gets destroyed and then you don't get to use your buffed up Ampharos after you use the Trailblaze charge move, if that makes any sense. So yeah, it buffs up your attack, but you can't really use it. Next Pokemon we got is Gligar. Gligar, um, I don't think I've said this, I've gone over him a lot, like basically these Pokemon I'm mentioning and basically all the Pokemon in my videos aren't new, okay, they're just switched around in the lineups, but yeah, basically I've gone over Gligar a lot, I don't think a lot, I think a couple times, but yeah, he's pretty good, um, with the Gligar though, he is very good because, man, you can't go wrong with his Pokemon, I feel like if you have his Pokemon in any lineup, it's gonna, that lineup's gonna be good, that lineup can be based around Gligar, I'm not going to cap. So, Gligar, in this case, uh, is a flying and ground type. Now, to me, personally, me personally, even though I haven't played the Pokemon Go Battle League in a hot minute, like, I'm talking about a fat minute, like, the fattest minute. I haven't played that shit in a minute. But to me, personally, flying type is pretty good. I think it's almost OP. But, um... Gligar is flying and ground type, which is pretty weird. But his move set in this case is uh fuck. Air slash fuck, I don't know if that's right. That's his tap move, air slash, and his charge move is aerial ace. I don't know about air slash, I don't know what the other tap move is. Maybe I gotta switch that out, but you know, it's just air slash for now. I don't even know if that's good or bad, but the charge move is where it gets juicy. With the Gligar, you know, the uh, aerial ace goes really well with Gligar. Me pers for me personally, because it's just such an all-around move. It's an all-around move to go with the all-around Great League Pokemon Go Battle League Pokemon, which is Gligar, man. I'll say it again. Gligar is just like pretty good. He's pretty decent. I don't, I don't know if that's true. I don't know with like the meta and shit. I will say this a little bit off topic. You know, I just come back to the Battle League and shit and like, you know, the, the thing's different. Like it looks cooler. The, the background looks cooler depending where you're at. So I guess like right now it looks kind of weird because I'm, I'm in the forest. I'm ba I basically live in the forest. Like I live in the forest. So when I'm in the battle league, the battle league looks like the forest, which is pretty cool. Maybe if you're like in the city and doing the battle league, your shit looks like the city. But for me, it looks like the forest, which I noticed. But yeah, that's basically the Gligar, you know, aerial ace. I say, say this a lot in all my videos. It is decent. It's pretty decent. Can't go wrong. It's like the baseline charge move. Okay, this last Pokemon, I'm just gonna go quick, go over quickly because I've literally gone over this Pokemon, I think in like every single Pokemon Go video. Almost all my Pokemon Go videos. In the future, hopefully we get some new leagues so I can actually do some more variety Pokemon. That's where the videos get pretty cool, you know? Like when I'm going over the Great League, it's kind of just like going over like Pokemon Go, or Pokemon I've already gone over already just like switched up differently but like when it comes to different leagues like with different typings and shit I feel like that's when the videos get kind of more fun because you know I, I get to use Pokemon that aren't usually good in great league standards but they're good in just like the that type of league standard if that makes sense so hopefully they come out with new leagues I'm not I don't think I'll do a master league uh, video because I suck at that shit and the ultra league I have to build up more Pokemon, but I have made ultra league videos Okay, this last Pokemon I'm gonna go over quickly, but you know I say this in every fucking video the last Pokemon I have the demon himself Lantern Lantern man, yo Okay, if you suck at the Pokemon go battle league or I don't really think you can suck at the Pokemon Go Battle League. It just really depends what Pokemon you have. I mean, there is some sort of, like, skill involved with it, you know, with, like, kind of, like, shields and shit, and, like, using a charge move, saving up your charge move. But I don't really know all that shit, I'm not gonna lie. I, I just tap the screen, and I tap my charge move, and sometimes I use my shield, and sometimes I don't. That's how you play the Pokemon Go Battle League. But, um, this last Pokemon we got... The demon himself, a lantern man. 
Yo, I'm just go over him real quick. He's a demon. He's, I think, the best Pokemon in the Pokemon Go Great League. Uh, Pokemon Go Battle League Great League. He's the best Pokemon, hands down. His move set is Spark. Um, fuck, what was this? Oh my, I'm such an idiot. Fuck, what's this shit? What's this shit? Um, I know his tap move is Spark, and he has two charge moves. I think one, I'm, dude, I'm drawing a blank here, bro. I'm fucking stupid. I don't want to check. Come on, bro. I don't want to fucking check. Fuck. You know, it doesn't matter because... Well, because, like, he's just such an OP Pokemon, and you're probably going to see the charge moves in this video. I just completely forgot, okay? Even though I've gone over this Pokemon so many times, I completely forgot the charge moves, but he has two of them because I wasn't broken lacking. So the first one is, like, a water... Water type charge move. It builds up pretty fast. That's why it's there. I forgot what the name of it was. I'm sorry, but I forgot what the. I'm pretty sure it's. I'm. I want to say water gun, but that's not right because water gun's like a tap move. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know the fucking first charge move, but it's a water type charge moves, and it builds up pretty fast. The second one is a lightning one, and it builds up slightly less faster than the first charge move which is a water type so you could you have the option of having the lightning one or if you want a quicker one you can do the water one but you can do both for the needed occasion but yeah i'm sorry for forgetting the charge moves of lantern um you know i do go over him a lot on this channel like i said he's the demon He's the goat of the Pokemon Go Battle League, and he's the goat of this Pokemon video. What am I saying? He's the goat of all the Pokemon Go Battle League videos that I make. Okay, that's going to be the whole video. Um, yeah, I just want to make a Pokemon Go video, you know. I'm definitely going to make some more in the future. Definitely going to make one. Uh, I used to make Pokemon Go videos, like, every day, but, like... I don't know, I'm just kind of an idiot when it comes to making up new lineups, so, you know, maybe sometimes I'll make Pokemon Go videos, but, yo, to all my subscribers and all of the people that watch my videos, thank you for watching, man, you know, I'm getting back on the YouTube, so tomorrow, or, yeah, I think tomorrow I'm definitely going to post another video, a different game, I'm trying to do a different game or just different type of video, every single day not the same video because i don't know i haven't found a game or something that i like to make videos on every single day you know that thing was uh elden ring but like elden ring is kind of boring i'm not gonna lie it just it just got boring for me but we're not maybe we might talk about that in the in in the next video but yeah that's it goodbye